guys. Uh, here we are on a new map, um, Clover Creek, and we're here with some new equipment. It is the uh, John Deere 4045R that I was working on um, the past two months. Anyways, we'll zoom out here and you can see um, how large this map is. Beautiful roads, main farm. So. probably do is hop in and test out this mod here so first thing um, that we can do is um, fully scripted with IC um, indoor sound that adjusts with the door uh, we can turn on our lights um, you can see that uh, we have the whole console and dashes that light up. Um, we can raise and lower the ladder with our IC, and then we can also we can also increase, uh, expand in the wheels and such. Uh, we can do that with IC or we can do that with some mouse pads. Um, we could also uh, turn on our monitor here. And then we can also change it between a few different displays here uh, we can turn on cabin cabin lights we can open up our window here um, we can turn off our lights we can turn on different work lights um, blinkers beacons so that's all functioning. We have lights here for the inducer. Um, we can also lower that. We can also lower our service ladder here. And then we can obviously raise that back up with our interactive control as well. So different lights we have here. Nice steering. And then we have seat suspension and cab suspension. So as you're driving you can see the cab is moving as well as the seat. Working mirrors. So on the model itself, uh, we have air compressor, the fuel tanks, uh, individual hydraulic drive motors, and then we'll just back up here to our sprayer. get out and manually attach that so now our sprayer is fully attached and then this has some specific functions as well we can raise and lower, lower our inducer it has the scripted spring and hose so we'll just go ahead and back this guy up So when we unfold, the booms actually lift out. And then we have all of our hoses and cylinders scripted. Um, all 
the lights. We have these lights, and then we have the working lights on the boom handlers themselves. Um, quick key function to raise the booms completely as you're coming in and out of your turns. I'm going to open it up. And uh, take a little closer look at the detail on this. Um, so this is a pretty, uh, you know, one of the more detailed mods. It's just, just the way that the model is. Um, requires quite a bit of detail. We have working mirrors. Um, all the cylinders and hoses are scripted in. And then we have the boom swivels that move as well. Breakaway with springs. Um, warning decals. Uh, individual. Uh, different, different style nozzles than the um, Patriot. Different folding as well. Um, this actually has the direct injection um, built into this model. You can see it comes um, from this poly hose and gets in and it uh, doesn't have to go through the main tank uh, the main tank here some decals we have the uh, meter fill volume gauge all the way up to 1200 gallons a little 4500 uh, liters we have the pumps on the direct injection, all the hoses and plumbing, and then underneath here you can see the where you fill direct injection. Uh, there's just more out here. We can increase our wheels for whatever whatever you want to do with those. So we'll just go ahead and pull this guy back up. We don't have any spray um, currently. So we'll just back this guy up here and I'll disconnect it we'll be able to drive away hold our ladder back up and then we have the dry box uh, this is the uh, new leader 300 G4 holds uh, 10,000 10,000 liters. Go ahead and connect that all the mountings line up properly. There isn't much to this one other than it just has a animated door. Um, obviously it has your 
lights and stuff like that. Um, nothing, nothing's currently in it right now, so we can't drive around and broadcast anything. Back up and connect. And then we'll load it up on the trailer here. First, we had to. have our triaxle down. So here you get a better view of the plumbing and stuff and the direct injection. That guy's loaded up on our trailer. down the road to the where we're farming. Uh, we're currently in our CT660 um, steerable tri uh, lift axle. Pulls this trailer and sprayer and pretty much everything else that we put on it very well. Very beautiful map, nice roads, nice scenery. It's fun to drive. A lot of acres to farm here, a lot of acres to spray. I think I'm going to the, the right direction. I think that's our alfalfa field. So this is the farm that we're coming up to. That's our main uh, dairy farm.
driveway here is pretty steep. There's some cows. This is our main shop. Our sprayer and fill it up somewhere. Pretty sure we fill it up right here. So this can hold 1,200 gallons, can hold, uh, I forget what the water tank holds, and then each direct inje injection tank is 50 gallons, I believe. So it can hold quite a bit of product. sprayer here I'll we'll unfold it So, as you can see, that is the John Deere R45. Uh, just a little bit of demoing with it and using it works great. Um, 
put a lot of detail into the model itself. Um, oh, I suppose you guys sprayer. So these are the uh, in-store items that you buy with the uh, prices. So base tractor is around 225. Sprayers, you know, pretty expensive, and then the dry brocks. Um, about ninety thousand. So, a uh, brand new machine will probably cost you anywhere from three eighty to four, whatever, uh, depending on where you look, how you order it, and stuff like this. This actually has load command on it. Um, which is designed to kind of like load the tank faster with this pump. Goes right up into the tank. And then it's here with the hydraulic cylinder and, and, and uh, so pan all the way out here. You can see the main farm here. Quite a few individual farms. I uh, really haven't explored this map much, but I'm sure I'll be doing uh, quite a few videos on it. Um, so, thanks for watching.